Hi guys and ladies. I found online a simple tasty fish recipe. Lemon Parmesan cod with garlic butter. Well, you all know I don't have cod here in Lake Catch a Big One, but why not bluegill? I can make this work. So I picked up everything I need, uh, 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 except, well, you know what, the bluegill. I'm gonna make my first cast right here off the dock. Let's keep our fishing as simple as possible with this. It's a tiny jig with a mealworm attached. Yes, we could use earthworms, maggots, waxworms, crickets, just about any live bait. These are the dog days of summer, so we'll have to try the deeper, cooler water. Let's get in the boat. Quite nice. Yes, that's what I'm looking for. Oh, how nice this one is. Mm. Little guy. Oh, he's not too little. I'm keeping him. He's okay. Whoa, <laughs> little guy took it. Ooh. Ooh. Not so little, <laughs> all right. As soon as it hit the water. <laughs> People ask me, why don't I use earthworms? Well, they're dirty and they get the boat dirty because they're packed in dirt. <laughs> These are packed in sawdust. Also, they stay for months in the refrigerator. Look, I put them in this little icebreaker container. Perfect, low carb meal. Yeah, right at the boat. Okay, it's a lot bigger than the color would indicate. It's big. <laughs> I never get bored with this. Oh, goodness. That's a good bluegill. Yeah. Whoa, not too bad. Where'd he go? Okay, all right. Look at the gold. He's so gold. I've struck gold. Whoa, right under the boat. I let the lure fall down under. I'm having fun. I'm having so much fun. Yeah. Bluegill are so beautiful. They're so colorful and they taste so good. Yes, right under the, oh, mm. Oh, a big, big, fat bluegill. I was fishing right by this sunken uh, tree. I love this sunken tree. Well, look what it holds. Ooh. Okay, <laughs> that's a good one, yeah. 
We have plenty of fish for our recipe. It's time to get back in the house and start filleting. Tomorrow, it's lemon parmesan bluegill with garlic butter. Here it is tomorrow. Fishing was especially fun yesterday and we were able to get a pound and a half of these beautiful bluegill fillets. I'm anxious to start on our lemon parmesan garlic butter fish recipe, but right now, let's put together a quickie side dish. What I've got here are cauliflower florets, about a pound and a half. All I'm going to do is microwave these for 13 minutes and 12 seconds, 12 and a half seconds. Here I've got my food processor. Now my cauliflower is nice and soft. Let's get it in. Somehow, whoa! You get the idea. Oh yeah, these are pretty well mashed up now, see? Uh, here's a half teaspoon each of garlic powder and onion powder. Pour that in there. Half teaspoon of salt, one quarter cup of Pecorino Romano. Of course, you could use the stuff from the can of Parmesan. Let's put that in there. A half cup of your favorite cheese, whatever it is. This is like pizza cheese. A half a stick of softened butter. And last, a half a brick of softened cream cheese. That's going in. These are mashers. Better than mashed potatoes, I guarantee it. This is nothing but a bowl of deliciousness. The hardest part of our mashers is cleaning up the food processor. Now it's on to the fish. I'm not sure what I'm doing. I'm supposed to zest the lemon. I think this is the way. Here's some parsley I'm chopping. Here I've got a casserole dish. And into it, a cup and a half of Pecorino Romano, freshly grated. You could use uh, the stuff from a jar. Into this mixture, two and a half teaspoons of paprika. One teaspoon each of garlic powder and onion powder. And of course, our lemon zest. I bulked up our recipe a little bit with more Parmesan. I don't think this is gonna be enough. I've got like two cups of Parmesan. I added more paprika too. And look what else. I've got salt-free Mrs. Dash lemon pepper, two teaspoons. Let's bulk it up some more with that. Here I've got six tablespoons of melted butter. I don't know if it's enough, let's see. Here's my fish fillet. Let's give it a try. Now, into our cheese mixture. Now into my sheet pan, which I've greased up. Let's continue. I've gotta cut it off because I've used up all the breading but I only have a few ounces left. I have over a pound of bluegill fillets. Nice ones, and look at this. This is the last piece going in. Yep, we're gonna put that in the oven at 400 degrees. I'm gonna put our little boys in the oven now for 10 minutes while our fish is roasting away in the oven. I ought to let you all know I'm thrilled because the famous celebrity restaurant and food critic Miss Lulu Cheeks is about to arrive here for dinner tonight. Uh, <clears throat> but you should also know, I, I've been trying to get her to marry me for decades. But I don't think she sees the, the pluses of marriage. I need to enlighten her. It's been 11 minutes. Let's see. Hope I didn't overcook it. I don't think so. Wow, look. Nothing like I expected. Wow. Paprika makes it that way colorful. We'll test it. It flakes nicely with the fork. Here's the thicker part. Let's taste it. Lemony. Mm-hmm. Ooh, rich. I'm glad I didn't add more salt. This is wonderful. It's perfect. I did it. I did it. I've got some lemon here. Let's add more lemon. Parsley, and we're done.
Well, here we are once again with the famous celebrity restaurant and food critic, Miss Lulu Jason. Thank you so much for joining me for dinner tonight uh, at my uh, doleful, dowdy uh, double wide. And you had a chance to scarf down my uh, counterfeit mashed potatoes and lemon parmesan bluegill with garlic butter, although I don't know where the garlic <laughs> came in. And I'm anxious to know what you thought of everything. Oh, I thought it was all very good. I, as, the fish was very good, and it had a nice, um, great flavor, and, and, and it was it almost a little crusty on the outside, yes. which was nice. Yes, But not too crusty. No, no, and it wasn't the, overcooked. And, and the potatoes mashed, counterfeit type. They were very tasty and creamy. Ooh, creamy. And you know how I prefer those to real potatoes I anyway. I love the yeah. creaminess. I do. Oh, me too. Miss Cheeks, oh, I can call you Lulu now. Uh, don't you think there's a lot to be said for marriage? Yes, but I don't want to say it on a family show. Uh, can I have a hug? <laughs> <laughs>